Okay, guys. Okay, let's keep working in pages 16 and 17. Okay, different ways to say hello. Now you know. What are some different ways to say hello? You said, good morning, hi, hello, hey, how it's going? What's up? Ah, Jaime, what's up? Is a way to say hello. Jaimito. Diga. What's up is a way to say hello. Cuando llego a la escuela. Ah, okay. When you go to school. How yes. many people? How many people? Ah, cuando me encuentro a mi conocido. Okay. Friends? Okay. People that you know? Okay, very good. And at the mornings when you wake up, you see the first person you see are your parents, sisters, or brothers. Do you say hello to them? Do you say hello to them? Yes? Okay, in what way? Just, hi, hello, papi, or you said, good morning. Teacher, I, no, no. I only say good morning and, and I go to drink a coffee. I, I like coffee. I don't know what. Like Do you like coffee? Yes. Oh, okay, me too. Okay, now we know that are different ways to say hello. But now, let's read this tip. Are they the same for your country? Match the tips from A to G to the pictures one to five, okay? In the USA, in the USA, you're in the school exchange tips, the USA, look the other person in the eye you have to look, do you look the other person to the eye? Oh, Jaime, or do you look to the floor when you are saying hello? Smile is a way to say hello. And I need, and only a hug or kiss good friends or family. And Stephanie, only hug, abrazar, or kiss, besar a familiares y buenos amigos. It's another way to say hello. Okay, most tips from A to G. A says, use first name for friends and family. Two, number two, let me see, number two. Good morning. Hey, Jerome. Use first name to friends and family, two and four. I think it's three and four. Use Mr. or Mrs. or Miss plus last name when you don't know all those well. Okay, pay attention to the picture. Usar señor o señora o señorita más el apellido cuando tú no conoces a los adultos muy bien. Mm, no apellido. Okay, what, which picture shows a person or um, a lady saying Mr. or Mrs.? Which picture? From one to five. Yeah, but, uh, two and three. Two, 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 three, 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 three. Okay, number three. Three. <clears throat> All right. See, when you meet somebody for the first time, say, nice to meet you. Which picture says, nice to meet you? Five. Five. Okay. Five. Five. Well. Teacher, teacher. Hmm? No sé Letter D. Cuando... Teacher, eh, no sé por qué, pero cuando usted dijo 
somebody, eh, yo, yo me imaginé algo de que, yo me imaginé otra cosa. De somebody wants to me the word. <laughs> This is from Shrek movie. Lo peor, lo peor es que sí. Yes, it's from Shrek movie. Okay, letter B. Use formal greeting with strangers, older people, teachers, and so on. Saying good morning and hello. Two. Two, just uh -huh. number two. No, sí. Yes. What about number three? Six. Mm -hmm. And what else? Number five? Uh, five. Five. Okay, very good. Letter E. Use good morning. Use good morning before 12 p.m. Good afternoon after 12 p.m. And good evening after 6 p.m. Four. Number? Four. Four. Two. Four. Uh, two okay. number two look at the girls are saying good morning ah, sí, I did say good morning uh -huh. letter F use an informal greeting with friends saying hi or hey it's one or four one on four one on four, four. 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 alright And letter D, ask about somebody's health. You say, how are you? That is formal. Or how is going informal? It's three and four. four. Three and four. four. Three and four. Very good. Very good, guys. Okay, we're ready for page 17. Okay, in number in page 17. How do I get there? Como llego allá? Ask for and give directions. Preguntar y dar direcciones. Let's speak. In a new place, do you, when you are in a new place, for example, you move to another province, Panama province. And when you are in a new place, do you ask for directions? Just answer yes or no. Do you ask for directions when you are lost? When you are new in a place, when eres nuevo en un lugar y no conoces, do you ask for directions? Preguntas direcciones. Oh, mira, sí. A mí a veces pregunta por direcciones. Okay. Do you use a map? No, profe, si, si yo me pierdo en la calle, yo me salgo en la calle, no voy a pensar en nadie. Ok, but do you use... Any... Entonces no se le puede preguntar a un policía, a una tienda, yo qué sé. Yes. Or, for example, use a map, Google Maps. Exacto, un mapa, si no tiene data, yo no, porque ni siquiera tengo celular, pues ¿para qué? Oh, poor, poor Eric. Do you use your phone to find a way? Edit on. No, 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 no,
fue cuando tenía cinco años. Y yo, desde ah, okay, esa edad, okay. me salía a mi papá y yo lo llamé. Y yo, y yo, y yo le dije al policía, perdón, me dije que esto, que el número de mi papá es este. Llamaron a mi papá y ellos vinieron. Cher, la, mi abuela sí se pierde. Una vez íbamos, estábamos comprando ropa y se perdió. Uh, you have to hold her. Always. Siempre tienes que tomar algo, Jaimito. Okay, let's listen the conversation to the conversation and be ready to answer. Why can't the last person give directions? ¿Por qué la última persona no puede dar direcciones? Direcciones. Vamos a ver. Once, is Alex. Okay. Alex. Okay. ¿A alguno de ustedes nunca les ha pasado que, que su mamá los deja en la, en la cola y cada vez que viene alguien a pagar, ustedes lo dejan pasar esperándose que llegue su mamá? Sí. Buenos sí, tiempos. Sí, ok, guys, then we can talk about it. Yo lo dejo. Que... Alex. No, yo siempre. Alex, yo siempre... Yes. excuse me. Excuse yeah, right, me. Like... Can you tell me the way to the shopping mall? Can you tell me the well, the way to the shopping mall? Yes, go straight ahead for two blocks. It's on the left, it's on the left. Thank you, Amy. Number two, Amy is asking, how do I get to the library, please? The officer says, yes, go straight, ah, turn left, then take the second right, it's next to the museum. Amy says, thank you. Number three, Joe asks, can you tell me the way to the station, please? The woman says, it's just around the corner, you can't miss it. Thank you. Number four, Eric says, excuse me, I think I'm lost. This is Eric. Oh, Eric, that's you. Excuse me, I think I lo I'm lost in the supermarket. How do I get to the stadium? The man says, is this picture? The man says, I don't know, I'm lost too. This is your nightmare, Eric. You are lost and you ask to another person that is lost too. So why can't not the last person give directions? Aquí todas las personas pudieron dar la dirección a DM. ¿Por qué Eric preguntó y el man y, la, y el hombre no pudo darle la dirección? Why? Why? Ahora soy famoso. Why? Well, yes, you are. He's lost too. The man is lost too. Okay, right. Read the tips. Let's read the tips in the how to box. It says use, be polite. Use, excuse me, to start a sentence. Okay? Si estás perdido, Eric. En New York y quieres preguntar una dirección, primero di, excuse me, can you tell me the way to the, and say, el nombre del lugar donde quieres llegar. Use please at the end of the sentence. Eric, cuando te den la dirección, eh, cuando pides la dirección, siempre di, please, por favor. And say thank you or thanks. Y cuando por fin te ayuden, you have to say thank you or thanks. Right? Okay. Eddie, this is a good information for you. Now here, it says, read the tips in the how-to box. Okay, we did it. You can read again. The exercise in two if you need more help and you can listen and repeat the questions for the for the for eric for the part 4a 
match directions one to five, one to five, to the pictures A to E. Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Para ir derecho. Uh. La C, la C, la C. Letter C, okay. Finish teacher. Finish teacher. Okay. It's on the left. It's on the left. Está a la izquierda. La e. Ir a la izquierda. La E. La E. La e. La e. Are you e. sure? La letra de mi nombre. Sí, la E, porque el left es izquierda. Y la E va a la izquierda. If teacher. It's on the left. You said? E. E. Okay. B, teacher. En la B. E. E. Okay. Turn left. No, profe. Turn left. La. A la izquierda. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, B, B, B. Ajá. No. La 12 es B y la, y la 3 es E. Yes. Porque entonces. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh, porque turn left es E. Yes. You're right. Take the second right. A. Take the second right. One second. It's letter A. A. Uh -huh. D. D. ¿Quién escribió A? Está bien. No, profe, ahí le aparece. Ok. Ay, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, no. I can't. Uh -huh. And five. It's just around the corner. It's just around the corner. D. Mi. D. Ahí yo puse la B, pero parece pero, que no. Pero no es B, it's not B, it's D. D. Erase and write D. Es la última que falta. A and D. Right? Like this. I don't have any problem if you want to, to read, to write in my screen, but do it well. Okay. Movie, theater, museum, station, and supermarket. Facebook. Ask for directions. Now I need a volunteer that can make a sentence asking for movie theater. Eddie, teacher. if you want, oh, Violet, I don't know. If you want to practice, vamos a practicar. ¿Cómo pedir una dirección? First says, excuse me, excuse me, then says, how do I get to movie theater? Or can you tell me the way to go to get a movie theater, please? Or think, or say, I think I lost, I'm lost. And at the end, you have to say always, thank you. And for give directions, for give directions, you can say, go straight ahead, Turn to turn left or turn right, or take the first or take the second left or take the right, and so on. You can look for in your student book the page one hundred forty-one. The page one hundred forty-one. And here you have more information and there you can find a little, a little city map. Okay, we finished with the explanation. So we are going to 
Stop recording. Creo que vamos a hacer el, el acento 41.